la cucaracha, la cucaracha, tararararara. This video is brought to you by Global Ordnance. Check them out at www.globalordnance.com. Howdy folks, welcome to the episode of Ordnance Lab. I'm Sean. And I'm Jake. And today we're going to be doing the sequel to our Hell Cannon, which has been our most popular video so far. <laughs> Before we did it where we lobbed one of the inert rounds, then we lobbed a live round, it went finally something on Ordnance Lab was a first time go. It's like never happens for anything else, but we got it. it worked so well, it was a dual purpose, how explosive and incendiary, and we spent an hour fighting a fire. But that's, a, that's another topic for another time. What we're going to be doing today is we've got our mortar here from Weapon Genetics, and we've uh, done some stuff. we got a phone that we calculated the angle it's going to be fired at, the direction. We're going to see if we, how actually accurate some of these rounds are going to be. Yeah, so uh, we standardized the rounds roughly as best we could so that they're roughly you know the same, the fin, tail, and fuse, and we have to thank uh, Jen with Dynamic Armament, uh, uh, th her new business there, where she manufactured these fuses to amazing tolerances. They're they're pr so professionally made to the point where I kind of don't want to blow them up. But let's be honest, we love blowing stuff up here. Yeah. All right. So this has the same style as last time: 750 kilogram or 750 grams of explosive, and almost a kilo. It's a, it's going to be a good sized warhead, and we're going to use the same amount of propellant for each launch. So ideally, the uh, hope is we're going to get them to launch in the same arc and land in the same area, and we're going to see how accurate this thing is. And this is going to be, I guess, mark two or take two of our design as we upgrade to a bigger and larger launching system. Uh, so this is going to hammer out some of our problems that we have and answer some questions so that we can start doing some improvements and provide you with a truly clone correct uh, yeah. Syrian well, drill it. cannon. Inshallah accuracy. By the way, last time a bunch of folks were like, wow, y'all, you're speaking in Muslim stuff. In Inshallah, if you've ever been to the Muslim word, it's for Allah's will, and Allah's, or Inshallah can mean either shove it up your rear end, or it can mean like maybe, and so they use that for pretty much anything and everything, but even like Christians over there use it, it's for God's will, and um, we'll see what happens, so that's why we're saying it, we'll make sure to chant it really loud while firing it with the Allah Akbar, which again, Christians in the Middle East use that, it's for God is great, so, but let's divulge from the cultural lesson and let's start putting some rounds down range. In part one of this video, we demonstrated our attempt to launch a time-delayed warhead that resulted in a disappointing dud. We returned to the ranch with fresh projectiles and a new prototype fuse we attempted to standardize so we could use in various other projects. The idea here was to both test the new fuses and see how accurate we could launch our projectiles. The first launch went well, and we were happy to see it left the tube without tumbling or spinning. Unfortunately, the first round didn't detonate on impact. We slowed this video down here where you can barely make out the projectile coming down. The flight path was great, but sadly we had no boom. I failed on my part to do the proper Allah Akbar um, chanting whenever we waited for it to fire off. That's why it obviously didn't work. Um, it impacted, we had an issue with our fusing mechanism. And so didn't work, unfortunately. Um, this right here is one of the original test ones that we think there was some issues with the way it was manufactured just on the design. And so what we'll do is we'll recock and try again. Um, <laughs> we fail quite a bit here at, or, or well, probably better to say we don't succeed a lot of the times here at Ordnance Lab. We're not always a first time go, but it looks like that the body survived it where looks like we'll be able to fire it again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire off the other rounds we have, and then later on we'll come back and see if we can fire this one off also. And uh, inshallah and Allah Akbar. The second launch went well as you can see. Once again, we had another round that failed to detonate on impact. You can see the projectile fall here in this GoPro we set downrange. What would have been an awesome blast video is sadly a disappointing thud from the impact. Man, I chanted Allah Akbar like a champ. The Imam that's a chaplain in my reserve unit would have been so impressed. So Jamal, I apologize that I didn't chant it sufficiently for it to go off. Looks like the the, um, the fuse had the same issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes to it. Also, it looks like that the velocity isn't high enough. Whenever we fired it before, we used a hotter burn and powder, and it had some serious hang time. Whenever it went up, it um, like when it came down, it came down Bugs Bunny style, straight down. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to up the powder charge because we're using our own black powder on here. 
that um, is, a, is different and we want to get it higher so that it has more time to stabilize. So what we'll do, we'll recock. We're going to make some changes here to the, uh, the fuse mechanism and we'll see what happens. For the third launch, we decided to increase the propellant amount to get more velocity and altitude. With the increased altitude, the round might stabilize more coming down and hit the fuse dead on. Theoretically anyways. You can see in this video the projectile traveled further than before and traveled down in a perfect perpendicular path with the Earth. But unfortunately, it was another dud. Alright, well, the next day we were finally able to find uh, our round that again didn't go off. Jake did some testing of the fuses and it looks like one of the earlier ones we were using there were some issues um, that were precluding it from detonating. So what we're going to do is we're going to bip this one, blow up in place, and um, to destroy it, we got a little hole over there that I just fell into, about up to my knee, that we're going to um, shove it into and blow it up. But we still have two that survived their impacts from, they were a lower velocity, so we're going to recock those with different fuses and see what happens. This time around, the projectile was in no recoverable shape. So we decided to retire it ordnance lab style by blowing it up. We set it with a small bipping charge and set back to watch one of these projectiles finally detonate. Uh, whatever the hell it was, it dug that um, rather deep hole. He now um, got a pretty good eviction notice uh, when we blew that up. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back, recock, and fire off the, uh, the mortar rounds, see if we can get them to go off this time. Unfortunately, we had no more success the following day with the projectiles. The next round launched perfectly, but came down with a disappointing thud of no detonation. It was also damaged beyond use, so we decided to detonate it via small arms fire. Yeah. Here is our final projectile launch, and its lack of detonation proved our fuse design needs some serious work. Our new propellant we make works great, and we'll continue to use it, but the fusing design is definitely going back to the drawing board. Well, that totally sucks. We've lost about uh, 24 hours of time screwing around with uh, mortar rounds getting to work. Five shots, zero detonations. Uh, Wish it worked better, so uh, Global Ordnance supported this. We wish we would have had a more explosive video, but we still appreciate y'all's support. Please make sure to look for Buddy the Cat's comment uh, down there. If you purchase stuff from Global Ordnance through that link, you'll be supporting us. We appreciate all of our sponsors um, that help us, like, for instance, on uh, Venmo, uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and uh, uh, Patreon. So we appreciate y'all's support. Again, we wish we had a better video of stuff blowing up, but we're going to recock and do a different fuse design. But we'll be bipping this right here because we have no idea what happened. So we'll go ahead and put a charge next to it, blow it up, and do that to end the video so at least y'all get to see some bangs. All right. Well, our apologies for not being able to show y'all a successful video. We haven't been able to release any of the Hell Cannon videos just because we've had all this stuff going on. Jake's been busy with doing Jade Helm stuff at Walmart death camps with the National Guard. I've been busy with a real job. And we went out there, we had that fusing issue. It looks like we've managed to fix that and we look forward to dropping some more explosive ordnance out of the sky in the next couple of weeks. So it looks like we've got that laid on and hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be able to release those videos of us blowing stuff up and having a successful launch, hopefully uh, without the fire part. So anyways, thanks for watching and we're looking forward to see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and stay tuned for another episode here at Ordnance Lab.